So you recorded 30 minutes of the sermon on Sunday and now you want to post it online. I recommend you break it down into one to two minute clips for social media. Once you have your footage, you want to create a folder on your desktop so you can put it all in the same place. Name it whatever you want to call your video. From there, select your footage and import it into the folder you've created on your desktop. Now you'll want to create a project in whatever editing system you're using. Here at Fishhook, we use Adobe Premiere Pro. It's compatible with both Macs and PCs, but there's several other options out there. If you have a Mac, you can use iMovie that comes free with your computer. If you have a PC, Windows Movie Maker is your free option. Most editing systems are very similar and can get this simple task done for you. Once you've opened a project, you can name it whatever you choose. From there, you'll want to import the footage that you have in the folder on your desktop. This is a full three minutes of footage, but I only want to use about 20 seconds. Scroll through your video to review the footage and decide where you want it to start. Click the in marker for where you want your clip to start and the out marker for where you want it to end. Once you have that selected, drag your clip from the source down into the timeline. I recommend adding a fade in and a fade out for your video's beginning and end. Once you're done editing your video, then you're ready to export it. Go ahead and click File and scroll down to find Export. From there, select Media. For this example, you'll want to hit the Q button. This will bring up Media Encoder. We're planning on putting our video on Vimeo to share, so we're going to use settings that are best for Vimeo. If you recorded your video in 1080p HD, that's the setting you want to export it in. Now click on Output File to decide what you want to name your video, and where you'd like to find it on your computer. The exporting process can take a couple minutes, but it will be worth it. Once the exporting process is done, always watch your video back to make sure everything looks like it should. If you're posting your video on Facebook, log on to your timeline and select photo slash video. From here, find your video file on your computer. Select what you exported and decide how you want to promote it. Once the video is done uploading, the post button will turn blue and you can share it with all of your followers.